Hi there. Welcome to NCSI. My name is Sonia. In this video, I will tell you how digital forensics can benefit other cyber domains. Did you know that various cyber domains interoperate together? If not, no problem. I am here to tell you more. Let's start with threat hunting. Every computer network has an established baseline of normal expected activity. Any deviation from the expected baseline can be identified when threat hunting is performed on the network. Let us talk about a scenario. At Tar Bank, a threat hunt is scheduled to take place today. During the course of the threat hunt, it was identified that one computer on the second floor had three suspicious processes running on it. The name of those processes were not common words, like PowerShell or services. The process names had random characters in them. The cyber team decided to raise the alarm on this finding. Threat hunting has identified an activity indicating deviation from normal expected activity. It calls for investigation. The threat hunters notify the incident response team about the unfavorable activity on the network. Incident responders come in to assess the situation, qualify the unfavorable event as an incident, and isolate the affected system on the network. They undertake preliminary steps to discover more information about the processes with unusual names. Incident responders are tasked with identifying the sequence of activities that led to the incident, that is, who or what started the unusual processes and take steps to recover from this incident. Digital forensics helps to identify the exact sequence of activities that led to the incident. Digital forensics professionals uncover critical information about the abnormal processes like, when were the processes started? What are the processes doing? During the forensic investigation, it is crucial to identify the full extent of capabilities of the unusual processes. This is where malware analysis comes in. Malware analysts use special tools and techniques to fully comprehend the behavior of suspicious processes and software. Other evidence recovered in digital forensics may provide inputs and context for malware analysis. Once digital forensics and malware analysis helps uncover the full extent of capabilities of the abnormal processes, the company can use this information to improve the threat hunts performed in the future. During malware analysis, the cyber team identified that one of the processes was a reverse shell. A reverse shell provides an attacker with unauthorized access to the internal network. There is a blog post on NCSI's library that tells you more about how a reverse shell works. The link to that post is provided in the description box below. The evidence recovered from this investigation becomes intelligence that can enhance future threat hunts. The bank is in a better position to identify whenever similar unusual processes are running on any computer on the network. Formally, threat intelligence is information about known cyber attacks and techniques that a company can use while hunting for threats. From this scenario, we observed that a threat hunt helped identify suspicious activity on the network. Incident responders performed a preliminary assessment and isolated the suspicious activity. Digital forensics helped uncover critical information about how the processes were started and used. In addition to this, malware analysis helped examine the complete capabilities of the suspicious processes. The lessons learned from this investigation becomes intelligence for future threat hunts. The artifacts recovered from a digital forensic investigation serve as valuable knowledge for threat intelligence feeds utilized by businesses all over the world. It helps uncover the complete scope of observed threats. It helps to contain an incident, recover from it, and ensure that the same incident does not happen again in the future. The evidence recovered by performing digital forensics helps provide the entry point to execute malware analysis. I think you can understand that digital forensics is a very important skill in cybersecurity. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to MCSI YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. 
Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.